Hello, welcome to Colonial RV, where today we're going to take a closer look at the newest addition to Winnebago's Class B van and their family, the Winnebago Solus Pocket 36A. This model follows the Solus 59P in early 2020, as well as last year in the summer, the Solus 59PX. This 36A is built on the 1500 chassis, and it comes in white, cherry red, as well as silver, which are all available here at Colonial RV for purchase right now. Now, before we meet the Solus Pocket up close, we wanna just talk about some of the quick highlights of what makes it so attractive to so many buyers. The first highlight is the affordability, where Winnebago has priced this coach under $100,000, where most RVs on the market are up into the high hundreds or even 200,000 MSRP. So affordability is key to reach a lot of people's budget. Second is the all-weather capabilities and extended season. All of the tanks, all of the plumbing, the fittings, uh, the valves, everything is all above the floor and inside the coach. So you'll notice that as far as plumbing is concerned for four season, that's usually something that would make any coach, you have to winterize it and you wouldn't be able to use the plumbing. But the Solus Pocket, it's a big advantage to have all of that in addition to the thermal insulation, the automotive grade that this van has as well. The Solus Pocket is only 17 foot, 10 inches in length. A, a normal minivan that many of us are using or an SUV, even something like a Toyota Sienna is about 17 feet in length. So this is really not that much bigger. And as far as the width of the RV, I know sometimes people talk about, well, it's so much bigger and wider. This is only three inches bigger than a Toyota Sienna if you just wanted to get a comparison for size. And last is warranty. We know that there's a big boom in the Class B van market where many people, it's really cool, they're building their own RVs at home, they purchase the chassis, and they certainly have the capabilities and the time, and that's great. But what, what are you gonna do when it comes to warranty down the road with your own coach? Not only are you getting Winnebago's engineering since 1958 and all of their expertise, but also for the chassis is one important thing to note. If you purchase a Ram 1500 chassis like this on your own, you're only gonna get a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. Where with Winnebago, they up that to a five year, 100,000 powertrain warranty. So. Great warranty that comes with this coach as well, as opposed to building your own. Now, before we walk around the outside of the Solus Pocket, we first wanna just talk about the specs. This is built on the 136 inch wheelbase. It's 17 foot, 10 inches in length, nine foot high on the out exterior, which is at the highest point, which is the roof air conditioner, because the Solus Pocket does not come with a pop top option. As far as the exterior, it's six foot nine, and interior, it's six foot three, as far as the width is concerned. Uh, this is built on the Ram 1500 chassis, which comes with the same engine as the Solus 59P, as well as the PX, which is the 288 horsepower, six cylinder, and it has a 180 amp alternator. And as far as the tanks, it has a 24 gallon fuel tank, has a 20 gallon fresh water, 20 gallon gray, and a 20 pound propane tank. We're gonna get into the toilet and the black tank as far as uh, what you can use in this case. It's a little bit different with a porta potty and we'll show you that in a little bit. But before we do, we wanna just talk about something which is important to all of us and our families, which is safety. The Ram Pro Master chassis does come with ABS brakes. It has airbags for driver and passenger as well. And they also come from Winnebago with a fire extinguisher, we have a smoke and fire alarm detector. As well, we have a propane detector, which is located down to the floor. But when we're talking about safety, another thing that's important with RVs is the occupant cargo carrying capacity. It's a yellow sticker that's right here on this door jam. And in the case of the Solus Pocket, the way this one is equipped, it's just over 2,200 pounds of cargo carrying capacity that you can add to the vehicle to be safely enjoying it and driving down the road. Now, what do you say as far as concerned of what counts as cargo carrying capacity? It's always gonna be the passenger passengers that are uh, on board, it's going to be your belongings, your luggage, any of your, uh, your gear that you're bringing with you, as well as the water weight. That's also very important to know when you are filling it. And it also tells you on the sticker what a, a loaded Solus pocket with the 20 gallon tank would be if you're adding a full tank of water. One last thing is the hitch weight, as far as the tongue weight on the back of the uh, Solus Pocket, that would also count and deduct from your occupant cargo and cab capacity. If you have bikes or some other gear off of the back, you're also gonna have to include that because safety is number one before we can have fun and enjoy the RV. Now we're gonna take a walk around this very small but unique coach, the Solus Pocket 36A. 
Here on your camping side, one thing you're going to notice quickly is uh, not only does it have an LED porch light, which is really nice that you can control uh, right inside here, but it does not have an awning. Uh, this coach is a little bit different than uh, the other Winnebago's, which will offer an outside patio awning, uh, but this is a little bit more simplified. Uh, the nice thing is they did carry over from the Revel uh, the popularity of the outside table, which you can just adjust. There's no table leg that you need, but you can just table all the way up and stow it here. So it's great if you're outside uh, using the space uh, just to camp with that. Uh, before we get inside, one of the great features about this as well is the refrigerator is located right here that you can come back with your groceries and just quickly you know, fill up the fridge with all of your uh, food and drinks. It just makes it real convenient than going all the way inside, especially if you're a little bit dirty or you just want to grab something uh, if you've been out hiking or mountain biking. So it's great that that fridge is uh, right in here and it's positioned this way. Uh, Winnebago also has carried over their uh, screens, uh, which you'll see the magnetic screens, which will just simply uh, zip down and unroll and then all you'd have to do is if you're going inside and out you would just move it and then the magnets which is very heavy duty would just come back uh, so keep all of the bugs and you'll see instead of a sliding door which sometimes would have gaps in other manufacturers uh, with this the way that it's uh, positioned you won't get uh, any bugs uh, inside uh, with that cool magnetic uh, system right here. Other than that, you do have the running board, uh, which has Winnebago's logo embossed in it. Uh, it's very wide. It is stationary. A lot of times uh, buyers are asking, uh, can, can, will it go in or can it move? It does not. Um, so it is welded to the chassis, uh, but it's very firm. And as you can see, uh, when even if you have more than one person, um, very, very safe. And they do have hooks on the end, which you can uh, tie up any of your uh, expensive belongings or, or just put a leash for the dog. Uh, other than the sliding door, which is manual, um, which you can see there's not much else here on the camping side. Uh, the Solus Pockets do come with the uh, Nexen 16 inch wheels. Uh, these are steel wheels, uh, not aluminum. They don't offer the aluminum uh, in the Solus Pocket. Um, as we walk by, again, a lot of other RVs have a lot of other systems. The Solus Pocket's very simple. Here in the back doors, uh, when you open them up, it would give you access to a great gear storage area as well as uh, almost like a loft type of bed system with Winnebago's uh, slat system for the bed, which is like a Murphy style. But just showing you inside the back door, we also carry over the screening system uh, to keep bugs out and just to give you a great ventilation uh, right here in the back doors. Um, on the back doors themselves, they do have the privacy screens, um, shades that you would just zip up, and they do have tinted windows. Uh, so for privacy, a lot of times people want to see. You can see even in broad daylight, you can hardly even see inside here um, with the uh, tinted windows. And then this would also give you uh, an additional thermal break just to keep uh, the temperature inside um, a little bit more consistent. Uh, you do have the rear annex uh, in the back, which is great, not only for privacy, but if you were going to uh, just set this up real quick, uh, it does come with uh, a curtain that you would Velcro on, uh, which we have, and then you can also put that curtain up front for privacy uh, with the Velcro uh, positions up front. But this is a great annex. Come outside, you can, uh, whatever you need to do, even wash off when you come back from the beach or hiking, and then this would just stow on the back doors themselves. Inside, you'll notice that all the water hookups are actually inside the van. There is no external uh, hookups for the, the water system, but you do have a few other features. Uh, there is solar, which we're going to get up on the roof in a little bit, but you do have another port that you can put a portable solar uh, right here and hook that up to maximize that system. You have USBs as well as 12 volt, and you have your duplex uh, 110 outlet. Uh, you can turn your water pump on uh, from the back as well. This is just cold water only. The Solus Pocket does not come with a, um, a system to heat up the water. Uh, so the whole coach is cold water only. Um, there's some valves here just to control for drainage and for filling the tank as well as just to hook up your fresh water uh, city pressure. Uh, there's also just a service area here for, um, for the water system that you can just, uh, the service technician can, act, can gain access to with a nice little simple um, protective. Uh, the Ram chassis, just like the Travados, they do not come with a spare tire that's included from the manufacturer underneath, but they do have from Ram a great little tool here that will give you an inflation as well as the silicone if you did get a flat tire. Uh, so it's one of the uh, alternatives, but it actually works very, very well. We've had a lot of customers uh, sing the praise just about this, just to get them to where they needed to go if they did get a flat tire. 
You'll notice also in this little gear area, uh, you do have the L-Track system, which continues uh, throughout the coach, just like other uh, coaches that Winnebago offers, similar to the Revel um, in the back of the Echo. Uh, so it's nice that they continue this, just like in the PX model, the Solus, and they have several positions so that you can tie down bikes. Winnebago did raise this bed just so that, especially bikes, uh, road bikes and mountain bikes would be able to fit when the bed, uh, when you are sleeping in it, so you don't have to put your bikes outside uh, in the evening, but you do have a nice little uh, area inside. In addition to the mold door, which is the, um, for the with the solar storage, you can hook up a lot of equipment to that. We'll show you a little bit more of that inside. Uh, in addition to the other storage, uh, you'll see they have some netting to hold your belongings on both sides. But one thing as far as this coach, it is uh, the stove top is propane, which we're going to show you for cooking, as well as the Vario heat. And you're going to say, well, where is the propane tank? Most RVs, there'll be an outside, uh, you know, a, a fill station and the tank is welded underneath. In this case, just to make things a little bit more simplified, Winnebago has a standard 20 pound tank right here, uh, which you can easily exchange and you don't have to worry about going to fill stations because pretty much most um, uh, utility uh, stores as well as uh, other maintenance stores, uh, the, big, the big box stores will all have uh, propane exchange so you can just quickly exchange to get a new tank. That would also be used for your cooking surface uh, with the stove top, which we'll get into, in addition to the Vario heat. Uh, for the heating system, which is very, very efficient and is very, very quiet. Uh, now, as far as the propane, you'll see that it does have a seatbelt just to keep it uh, in its position as well. And it is, um, you'll see here, not only is the, the interior, interior is insulated, but it also has uh, a great system when you lock it in so that it would seal. And then you won't have to worry about that if you were using it, if there was a little bit of a smell. Uh, there, If you look on the bottom, it is vented in this coach uh, underneath. So there's vents all the way around. Uh, uh, so any propane uh, smell, if there was a little bit when you first hook it up or, or disconnect it, uh, that would just sink and would go outside since it is vented. So right here in the rear of the driver's side, you'll see they have this little door and then you'd gain access to the propane tank if you want to turn it on and off. Often when, when you're traveling and you're going either on some bridges that they permit it, but the, the gas has to be off or ferries, you don't have to open up and maybe get some of your belongings out of the way of the door inside, but you can just quickly open this little access door right up right there. Uh, underneath here, you'll see we have the main uh, drain valve, which would be for your gray tank. Again, there is no black tank on the soulless pocket. Uh, so you would just disconnect this uh, just by turning it and then popping it off, hooking it up to um, a dump station, and that way you can let your, your waste water from uh, the, uh, the sink uh, and anything else in the gray tank that you'd fill it up um, and just empty that. Also, back here, we just want to point out it does have the, the hitch receiver. Uh, this does have the four pin, and as far as the hitch, it is a 3,500 pound towing with a 315 pound tongue weight. So you can put any of your belongings off of the back, and uh, that would just make it great so you can utilize not only the space inside but also outside. And then just finishing up here in the rear, in addition to the rear marker lights from the Ram chassis, you also have your backup camera, which is the, the first camera that's located right here. And then you also have, which we're going to show you inside, they have the digital rear view camera display, which is great because that can always be on when you're driving forward. And there's a few little settings on there, which we'll show you when we're up in the, uh, in the, the cabin area. Walking around the rest of the driver's side, you'll see we have the 30 amp landline. So this would give you your 110. That would help to, most importantly, not only power the whole coach, but also, which we're going to get up on the roof, the roof air conditioner. This coach does not come with a generator. It does not come with a lithium Volta package or lithionics. It has the standard Group 31 AGM batteries. Uh, but this 30 amp would at least give you uh, complete power to all of the outlets, as well as if you wanted to run uh, the roof air conditioner. So that's what this would mainly be used for. Here's your vent for your Truma, uh, the Vario heat. That's a very, very efficient system. It's only for heat. It is not going to be just a similar system in the PX or Travados or other Winnebago's uh, that have the combis, which would also heat your hot water. Because again, in this case, uh, this would only be your, uh, for your, your, your heating system. It is a very efficient, it's very light. It only weighs 5.5 kilograms, the whole system. And it's also very, very quiet for in the evening. It does have a sleep mode. So not only do you hardly hear the fan, but you wouldn't when you were sleeping. Uh, with the Vario heat, uh, which would run off of your propane tank. Just have your Ram ProMaster, the six cylinder gas engine exhaust here on the driver's side. And then you also have your, your fuel tank where you would refill. Uh, this coach right here, as far as the six cylinder ProMaster, would just use standard uh, gasoline unleaded and it's the 87 octane is what the chassis recommends. 
Here we are up on the roof of the Solus Pocket. Again, this is only a 17 foot 10 inch length coach, so there's not a lot of real estate to add extra things on the roof. There is no uh, luggage rack that comes with the Pocket, but right here we have the, the Coleman Mach 10 roof air conditioner, which we said would just work off of your 30 amp landline. Other things that you have, you have the 170 watt solar panel. This is just gonna trickle charge your house batteries. Again, that's all that solar is going to do, and they do have three ports. We're already using one. Even though there's two more ports, there's not a lot of room up top, but sometimes people want to move things around and add another solar panel, which you, you could do. Um, that system would take up to 450 watts as a maximum, and don't forget, we also had the ground level port for solar that if you did have a portable uh, solar panel that you can take with you, you'd have to just remember that would also uh, factor into the equation. Here we have uh, the, the port for the roof. Uh, this is something that Winnebago has done in the last year or so, and what this will do, we'll show you inside the cabinet. This gives you roof access. Uh, just makes it easier for customers that are doing uh, any of their own installations at home, as well as dealerships like us. Uh, it's just a quicker way to gain access to add um, a WineGuard uh, Wi-Fi antenna or a WeBoost for your cell phone. Um, lastly, we have the, uh, the Max Air Fantastic Fan, uh, which you'll see right here up in the front of the cab, and that's just great for airflow. It has the cover on it. Um, and then that just would be nice if you didn't need the roof air conditioner, you could turn that on to exhaust any of the um, uh, air inside the coach. Other than uh, the radio antenna up front and the marker lights, you can see there's not much else on the roof of the Solus Pocket. Now as we walk into the entrance of the Solus Pocket, right here in the entrance, as we showed you before, is the Nova Cool. This is a 12 volt compressor driven fridge. Um, you also have some USB, you have some 12 volt, you have a duplex outlet, as well as your main battery coach on off switch. You have your outside light that you can control right here, and then you also have the main light switch uh, as well right here. Next you have your two burner uh, suburban stove. Again, this is gonna work off of that propane tank that we showed you a little while ago. It does have the glass cover just to give you some additional uh, countertop space, stainless steel sink, and even though you don't have much more counter space, one of the things Winnebago has done is with the bed, uh, they have this cushion that you can just simply take away, and you may be using it uh, for the sofa feature, which we'll show you in a little bit. Uh, but what you can do in this case is you have a lot more prep space if you really like to cook and get things ready when you're not sleeping. As you can see, the countertop pretty much is just extended all the way through. Same thing with the windows inside, you have the zip up. This is also thermal and the nice thing is again all of the windows uh, are tinted. Cabinetry you'll see we have it right here with the magnets so the nice thing is if you are going to be filling your cabinets you can just pop them up they all have them uh, as you move around the coach uh, you can just get gain access to all of your storage space very nicely. <clears throat> All the lighting is LED lighting, so there's very little draw as well. Uh, this coach, you know, as far as battery power, we have the two Group 31 AGM batteries. 12 volt fridge is gonna use very little uh, draw. You don't have a lot of other systems. Uh, very simplified, no microwave. Um, as you walk through it, uh, there's not much else. Uh, now right here, which is great that Winnebago's been doing, and this has been carrying across most of their RVs, like the Travado as well. They have all the main switches right above uh, the entrance sliding door. Uh, we have our ZAMP controller, which we were just showing you. Now we are indoors right now, so we're not gonna be receiving much sunlight on that 170 watt panel. Um, but right next to it, you have your Winnebago's, their little one place system. You can turn the water pump on as we showed you before in the back, you can also turn it here. And then if you wanted to just check all of your levels for your batteries as well as your tanks, which in this case will be your gray tank, uh, the fresh water, we're gonna show you something really cool with the sight glass in a second. This is your main controller uh, panel for the Truma system. Again, this is not gonna have anything to do with hot water for the first time with the Truma Vario heat. So you can just adjust the cabin temperature um, and then uh, you can also set it for a sleep mode, which is pretty cool. As we walk now to the back of the coach, um, we do have a dinette, which we're gonna get to in a second as far as sleeping quarters. Uh, this coach has three seat belts. Uh, you do have three three-point seat belt. In addition to the driver and passenger, you have one more uh, right here. It's just forward facing for safety. Um, obviously, the amount of people that would be able to travel with you is important. And it's nice that it, it's not just two, but in this case, it's also three. Finishing up in the kitchen gallery area, you do have some nice storage space, uh, some little drawers in addition down below. 
Uh, you also have the venting for the fridge uh, in the back here. One really cool feature that also has transferred over similar to uh, some of the storage capabilities in, in, folk, in RVs like the Echo. You have this mole panel door along with the storage here from the Solus. You can hang any of your gear that you'd like uh, with some hooks off of that. Again, these are the other two L-Track positions uh, just inside, a little bit more forward facing than the ones in the back. Right here as we bend down underneath the bed, and again, this Winnebago's bed is, is, a, is a little bit higher. Uh, we do have USB, we also have 12 volt. We have the sensor for your temperature control with the Truma Vario heat, so this would read the temperature inside the coach when you're setting it. You also have a GFI outlet. Uh, this is really cool, this little light switch. When you turn it on, as we mentioned, the Panel system will read the, uh, the levels of your gray tank, but this little sight glass would tell you your fresh water tank, which is housed behind this cabinet. So it's gonna give you not only uh, lights or a value of one third, two thirds, it's gonna give you the true uh, water level uh, when you're filling your tank. You can also, in addition to hooking up in the back, you can just fill your water tank uh, with gravity fill uh, right here as well. Uh, so they give you all of those features, uh, which is real nice up close. As far as the bed, this is, as you can see, a Murphy style bed. Um, <coughs> nice thing is it's out of the way during the day. And with Winnebago's very comfortable slat system, very easy. You would just put the bed down and you would marry that up <coughs> with the cushion over here. <coughs> Personally, I'm five foot nine and you'd put your feet on this side with a little cutout. <coughs> As we mentioned, the width of the coach, six foot three, so it's very comfortable for two people uh, just to spend time here relaxing in the evening uh, with their pillows. And here again, we have the Coleman mock air conditioner, which is right above you. And then during the, the day, you can just, again, just lift up the cushions and put it right back into its little seat belt and it's out of the way. Uh, other than that, there's no other features in the back of the Solus Pocket, very simplified, and that's what everybody likes. Only wanted to mention that you do have a, a breaker box uh, as far as if there is anything that you tripped or for fuses, you can gain access to it very easily uh, right here behind um, uh, the bench dinette. But now, we'll take you inside up front and we'll show you some of the different configurations that you can do with the little dinette area. Now up here in the main area of the dinette, nice thing is you do have some additional very quick on and off LED lighting. You continue to have the tinted windows. You can zip up for privacy as well as for thermal. In this cabinetry right above, uh, which would be the seat belted area, you'll see that we have the roof access port that we were showing you when we were up on the roof, in case you want to install anything. You also have another duplex outlet and you also do have 12 volts and additional USB. This is not the only additional power that you get in this dinette area, and it's one really cool feature that they have uh, right inside here uh, in the dinette when you're sitting. If you are gonna be working on computer, laptop, or charging your devices, you do have additional outlet, 12 volt and USB. And then if you did wanna have any devices, you can just, as you can see, we swivel the table out of the way. You do have some little, little pop-outs that you can you know, hook up anything electronic, and you could just run it right through um, just to get to the power. Winnebago has another little piece of that mole, uh, so you can just hook up any type of devices that you'd like and attach it to this little area. Now, as far as this dinette, as you can see, we got a nice seating area, uh, very comfortable for two people. You got some cup holders and the continue uh, of the countertops that match. But with this little area, it does, as you can see, it has a dinette option. It has a sofa as well as like a daybed uh, option as well. It's very easy to manipulate and to transform it. This table, which you can see, we have a little a locking device for the swivel where you can swivel it in any direction, but you can also just quickly release at the bottom, and then you could take this whole bracket off if you were gonna make it into the day bed. Um, again, you're just using the table when you take this bracket off, and then just by converting it, just simply like that, you can change it into a few different configurations depending on uh, what type of mood you're in and what you're looking to do with the space, which is uh, very easy that Winnebago gives you a few different options with that. 
And lastly, one of the most important questions that's often asked about the Solus Pocket, which is very unique as far as Winnebago and many manufacturers, you'll notice there is no bathroom and no shower. Uh, the, because there's no hot water, it does have the cold uh, shower and rinse in the back, but up front you don't have a bathroom. But what Winnebago's done is they give you a little porta potty, which is housed and located right underneath this forward, uh, this, this dinette bench. The porta potty, which is still sealed from the manufacturer from Thetford, um, just very easy to use. Uh, if you were using it, you have a little valve that you would pull in order to uh, release anything that has been uh, added to the tank itself and you have a little pump that you would just pump to add water and then that would just be your flushing device in the system and then it would all be housed in a little uh, container in, a, in the bottom which you would then just take uh, similar to what a, um, a Revels toilet uh, would be, a cassette toilet and you would just empty it in the toilet and rinse it out and then just put it back in. This can be used naturally anywhere whether it's inside or outside uh, so whatever you choose depending on uh, your surroundings and the weather. Uh, they do give you a nice little porta potty, which is very convenient, quick and easy, and stows right underneath the dinette. And that's the rest of the galley area and the dinette area. And now we're just going to show you a couple of the features up in the chassis area next. As we move into the cabin area, you'll see we do have that light switch as we were showing you that was just above the cab door. It does have a bright mode as well as a middle which is off and then a lower mode for evening which is a little bit of a dim. But when, you, when you're coming into your RV at night and you want that extra privacy, as you'll see here, we have the shades in the cabin area uh, for driver and passenger. And the nice thing is these just easily fold in. Uh, they're magnetic, so they're gonna hold its position. In the front windshield, I just set up one, one half, so they have two Velcro uh, positions right here that you can just put in the second one. Uh, so you can see, nobody can, can look inside because you are gonna be using off in the cabin and uh, the front seats as part of your interior living space in the evening. So you've got great privacy all the way around the coach and including the front windshield and the side. Up here, this is the same, most of the same features that comes uh, in the 25 and the 3500 chassis. Uh, you do have power uh, mirrors, power door locks. You do not have power uh, rear view, uh, your side mirrors though. In this case, those would be manual. Uh, as far as the steering wheel, a lot of people ask as far as the tilt and telescoping. You have a little lever that you can lock underneath so you can telescope the steering wheel, but it does not tilt. Uh, one other important feature that's on the driver's side by your left knee, it has the battery boost. Uh, so that would give you uh, access to the house batteries in case the chassis battery, you drained it, maybe you left your headlights on uh, for a couple days or the, or the radio, something you left on in the cabinet, a light, and you drained a perfectly good chassis battery, you can just do a battery boost. Uh, with the house batteries on, which is great. You don't need the jumper cables. You do have all of your controls uh, for Bluetooth for your phone, as well as the menu uh, right here. As we mentioned, this is a six-speed uh, transmission, um, six-cylinder as well, so very easy just to control everything and to great visibility. Have all your basic standard Ram Pro Master um, buttons here, in addition to air conditioning and the furnace, your hazard lights. Uh, you can power lock the doors from here. But in addition to other things like cup holders, you do have some USB and auxiliary ports here as well for driver and passenger, uh, 12 volt. So if you wanted to hook up and charge some equipment while you're driving. One of the really cool features though, uh, is this new, uh, they've been using it now, Winnebago and the Ram chassis for the last year. Uh, you got this digital uh, rear view display. As we mentioned to you in the back, it has a separate little camera so you can see behind you. This is just in our dealership's lot. If you wanted to turn that off, you just hit this little lever and now you just have a standard uh, rear view mirror in case you do have family and some belongings that you want to see if you really like that uh, standard look that's been uh, genuine for many years. But if you really like the new advanced features, you can even control the little menu button. You can move it up and down. The, the, you can change the, the brightness and the di how dim it is as well as the angle. Uh, so it's really, you can see I'm scrolling and I'm moving it up and down depending on the angle of view that you'd like. Lastly, one other thing that people always are asking us and they'd like to see is the swivel uh, seating feature for the driver and passenger. Uh, you just have the lever that's underneath and in this case you can just swivel both driver and passenger seat back if you wanted to use this space in the evening. But that pretty much sums up the rest of the chassis and the Pro Master Ram 1500 and the Solus Pocket 36A model. And from all of us here at Colonial RV and the Jersey Coast, we appreciate you for watching our video. Please send us your comments, like or share, or give us a call at 1-800-265-9019. And thanks again for watching and drive carefully.